Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Democracy Free Africa. Um, I was actually originally thinking that we were going to be playing Democracy Free with the DLCs and then maybe looking at some mods and things like that. Well, actually no, I lie. Originally, when I put Democracy Free in, I thought I had the DLCs which was already out and that there was, gonna, there was no more. So I actually thought that we would end up going on to the uh, Steam Workshop and finding some weird uh, sieves. Uh, sieves? some weird countries to play. Um, then I looked and I'm like, oh wait, there's actually been a fair number of DLCs to the game. All oh, right, uh, and um, good old games has a sale on them for the moment. Yeah, fine, get me the DLCs, we we'll be caught up. And then I saw that there was an expand alone for Africa released afterwards as well. So now I'm like, okay, uh, we'll probably go back to the um, base game at some point, but the fact that it apparently has a completely separate engine in it, not engine, um, models basically for it, I am more interested in this. Also, I'm going to be severely disappointed if one, we can't ditch cash altogether and try and force an M-Pesa style uh, economy. Uh, two, we need to be able to ship blood around the uh, country via drone, like they're actually doing. <laughs> and uh, three, I wonder, this is going a bit, a bit more historical than the last two. The last two are like reasonably modern. Uh, but I want to be able to kick the people like me out of the country. Um, <laughs> I wonder if that's an option at any point. Because uh, like there's still the, in uh, South Africa today, I believe, you know, some of the parties basically saying that like the white people should be off the land that they own and stuff like that and it should be redistributed to the blacks because it was their country um the fact that it's gone on for as long as it has now i don't know i, I don't think there's ever really actually desktop audio is um peaking a bit let me just quickly uh tweet the master volume down Right, that should now only be hitting the yellow, not the red. Um, <laughs> uh, but... Um, where was I? Yeah, I, I don't think there's actually a good system for doing that, um, In gen generally speaking. I'm not saying it's not something that shouldn't be looked into or anything like that, or there shouldn't be something sorted out for it. But a lot of the cases nowadays, when they're taking the land away from the white man, or woman, um, they have had very little to do with the taking it away in the first place and they're now part of your country keeping drawing the distinction between white men and black man is bad instead of looking at it that way just look at it this way instead they might be considered more rich fair enough tax for rich more you know make them pay their way but just make sure that everybody's level of life gets raised up you know you don't have to be the adversarial on something which shouldn't matter. Skin colour shouldn't matter. <laughs> oh God's sake! I didn't think about this, but I'm I'm probably going to have to do that a lot, like randomly trying to explain my point of view, because otherwise I'm going to uh, mess this up. So Botswana, Tunisia, South Africa. <laughs> I just spoke about it so much. I might have to do South Africa, uh, Ghana, Zambia. I was going to say Zimbabwe, then that's like. It's not Zimbabwe's flag. No, you can't read. Kenya and Nigeria. Oh, and the last one is Egypt. I think we're going to have to play South Africa, partly because um, I'm British, so the food of a white British man coming to South Africa to rule it. <laughs> um, but yes, let's come to South Africa. The Republic of South Africa is the southernmost country in Africa. Well, it depends. If you define their country's location by their most northern point, they're not. <laughs> uh, countries within... There are countries completely surrounded by South Africa. But yeah, I... Actually, I wonder even if by central point, would them countries be class... Look at map. I've written a note to remind me for in between the episodes. Um, <laughs> I'm curious. By their center, they might not actually be the most of the most, but by their southernmost point, obviously. But um, okay, with extensive coastlines 
on the Atlantic and the Indian Ocean, South Africa's multicultural diversity has resulted in the moniker the Rainbow Nation, which with 11 officially recognized languages, the territory is rich in natural resources, which have been successfully leveraged by the South Afri by South Africa to reach a newly industrialized country status. A population basically almost comparable to England. I, I would say that's comparable to England, I think. I'm, 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 by the way, I'm, I am being serious when I say England, I'm not lumping in Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland with that. Um, that's why I'm saying England, just be, in case I get any hate in the comments. Um, I doubt, because I'm pretty sure at the moment the only people who are going to be watching are the really loyal people who found me after three years of not making any content. Uh, but you never know, people watch. Uh, GDP per capita, not, not brilliant, but not too bad. Uh, foreign aid per capita, that's a number I wouldn't have expected. Youth unemployment, 50 odd percent, yep. Human development index. Okay, let's just jump in. Uh, we'll leave it all as the default. There is a two turn limit, which actually I quite like because it means it's gonna be shorter plays. Um, leave everything as it is, whatever the default is. The Congress of the Republic. That's not a party, is it? That's, um. That's, that's the name of the parliament, isn't it? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not going to comment because I'm... <laughs> I'm going to be showing my ignorance. So let's screw it. Let's just um, start uh, being a colonial governor. No, 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 sorry. A democracy, a democracy. <laughs> uh, click to return to government. Oh, Christ's sake. Didn't I do that um, in one of my first democracy let's plays? In general, thinking it was a loading screen and just sat there waiting. Uh, welcome to Democracy Free. You have just started your first term as president. And as your chief of staff, okay, chief, um, I'm here to explain how things work. The icons below show you a few key indicators of the state of your country. Hopefully you can change things for the better and get reelected after your term is up. Press the button in the window below. Mark, begin term in office. I'm gonna leave the tutorial up because I don't know if there's gonna be anything specific to uh, the Africa standalone. Expand alone, that's it. These seem standard for me at the moment. Unemployment is a bad number, poverty is really high, crime is really high, education is low, health is terrible, and GDP is in the tank. Uh, here you can survey the state of your country. It may look complex, but all the different components work in very similar ways. The icons represent different objectives in objects in the economy or society, including policies, laws, voter groups, and values for important concepts such as health, education, and... Actually, I think this is basically the same. Quick tutorial. I don't think I need the tutorial. I'm pretty sure... I've forgotten the name of... Damn it, I'm rather annoyed about this. I've forgotten the name of the uh, South African currency. The Rand, I want to say? I almost wish I could transfer it into English money just so, into pounds so I could understand what's going on. But I've got in with no mandate. I actually wish when you started this game, you had to do something to simulate the fact that you was elected in. You're like, say, oh, I was going to say that, say that I'm going to specifically aim to help the uh, health of the nation. My popularity is terrible. Everybody hates me. <laughs> if you're in the everybody group, you hate me. Uh, human development, crime, violent crime, corruption. Right, what's the next largest group? Motorist is large. They don't like the petrol tax, they don't like the toll roads. Petrol tax, I'm sorry, that would be staying. Toll roads, I generally don't like. I like the idea of infrastructure that is free for everybody to use. Uh, the only problem is when you get businesses that are built around that. Like, for instance, when you build lots of motorways and until your train network dies. Uh, there's a lot of socialists. And I have a tendency to lean that way. So they don't like the current state of equality or unemployment or poverty. Actually, unemployment. I was looking before and everybody hates crime and I'm like, oh, I don't really want to have to do that. HIV AIDS. Affects health. Elderly membership is reduced. Everyone 
<laughs> I can make it to the end of the episode. Everyone really doesn't like that. Science funding will help reduce it. Education will help reduce it. State health services help reduce it. Private healthcare helps reduce it. Foreign aid. I'm curious. Um, where do I go to start the new ones again? I've forgotten. <laughs> I should have done the um, tutorial. Opinion polls. Wait, there's opinion polls? Oh, okay. This is actually just... Yeah, I, I thought it was like a thing I could commission, but no, I, I remember that. In fact, new policies. Um, under education... Public services. Is there basically sex ed? Um. <laughs> the the population doesn't like. I wish I knew what these actually did. Open plan government offices. <laughs> uh, free school meals, eye tests. Basically, what I was thinking, I was hoping that there was actually sex ed to teach people to, you know, sack up. Uh, welfare, would it be under there? Is there a free condom? Yeah. Birth control to the everybody, please. Food stamps, minorities. I guess that'd be under family planning. Implement a program of family planning to improve the sexual health in your country. Typical service includes education, medical advice. See, I would strip this out of... The I would have family planning there, but also to me, there should be a... You know, a lot of these things individually. Female genital manipulate mutilation. Yeah, that'll be banned at some point. But family planning, I want to implement from the start. It's free to change it. I have no idea how much money that is. But it's going to really attack HIV AIDS, inequality. It's going to hurt population growth, but we're already a large country and we're, yeah, we've got unemployment, so I don't care. Education and health will go up. Women's and liberals will like it. I think that's trying to say. Conservatives won't, but I don't care. Family planning. Uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that, that is the end of the first episode. Uh, if I remember, I'll hopefully release a two episodes. Actually, that's what I might have done with the FTL. Yes, because I accidentally recorded two episodes in one, but if, at the start of a Let's Play, if I release two episodes on the day to you know, get people into it... Okay, yeah. <laughs> I... I, I like that idea too much. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for this episode. Hopefully, if I remember, there'll be another one coming out today. If not, it'll be tomorrow. But as always, I'd like to thank you for watching. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.